Good morning, West Michigan. Welcome to Eight West. It's Monday, the day after the long holiday weekend. Are we mm -hmm. in a turkey coma still? I think some people probably are. You know, the turkey sandwiches are happening with the leftover mm -hmm. cranberry sauce. But right. this is one of those weekends where you don't have to go shopping, but you get to about Wednesday or Thursday. Oh, so there's no food in the refrigerator <laughs> anymore. Exactly. Well, my husband actually <laughs> took all the leftover turkey meat, and he made two different versions of soup. He made okay. a, uh, a turkey sausage gumbo Ooh. and a turkey vegetable vegetable soup. So Jake took, very healthy. Jake took all the uh, gumbo back to college with him to feed his roommates and uh, the, the veggie turkey soup is uh, still in the refrigerator. So at least we'll be eating that. Hopefully Jake knows the trick to freeze some of it mm -hmm. so that his roommates don't find all of it. They just <laughs> find whatever's in the fridge and then when he gets hungry he'll still yeah. have something to pull out. Oh, Some, yeah. Somehow the college dorm room all the food just disappears. Something like that. Well, he's in a department this year because it's his senior year, and his roommates are actually pretty good cooks, too. So maybe they'll kind of uh, whip up some Contribute. kind of a smorgasbord, something like that. Yeah. Well, um, you know, over the weekend, so many people had a great uh, opportunity to spend it with friends and family, and West Michigan uh, started saying goodbye to uh, one of the most mm -hmm. lovable people uh, I think that uh, I have ever met. Fred Meyer passed away over the holiday weekend, and I, I remember... A couple of years ago, as we were starting 8 West, he came to visit us, and uh, as they were writing a wonderful new collection of stories about the life mm. of Fred Meyer, we had the opportunity to welcome him into our yeah. studio here at 8 West, and uh, just a great guy. I, it was funny. I, I've got two super good stories about Fred Meyer. Every time I ran into him, he was with his beautiful wife, Lena, and uh, the exchange would go the same way. He would walk up and say, we exercise together every day, because he would get up in the morning and mm -hmm. go on the treadmill and uh, she would say, Fred, she doesn't know who you are. <laughs> I say, Mrs. Meyer, I do know who. I've, I've met you before. Thank you so much for exercising mm -hmm. with me. And the other story is that it was a wonderful October, a beautiful fall a couple of years ago. I'm happy to run into Fred Meyer. I think it was at one of the openings of the Van Andel Institute. And uh, I, I ran into him and I said, boy, what a beautiful fall we've had, huh? And he says, it's not so beautiful if you're trying to sell coats. <laughs> so I thought. Those are the things you don't think about. I know, exactly. So uh, so anyway, what a wonderful legacy. What a wonderful man. And uh, of course, our condolences go out to the entire Meyer family. Mm -hmm. And uh, we know that uh, he, he may be gone from this earth, but his legacy definitely will live on. Yeah, and so influential to so many people, mm -hmm. and especially us here in West Michigan. Oh, absolutely. I was just out of the Meyer Gardens last weekend, too, uh, last week, doing a story about the uh, wonderful uh, Christmas around the world and the holiday yeah. cultures and the way that traditions are celebrated. And I think, you know, what a, just what a lasting legacy. An impression that will always be there. And oh, speaking yeah. of the Meyer Gardens, their Christmas traditions is actually happening this week on Thursday. Oh, so. yeah. Wonderful opportunity for that. Mm -hmm. And uh, if you're looking for a great Christmas present, this book, by the way, is a really good read. And mm -hmm. it's a great story about how a man became so successful, but yet remained humble and down to earth and kind and treated everyone with dignity and respect. And, uh, you know, these are great lessons. This should be on the required list of reading to get any kind of business degree in this country because he definitely did a lot of things the right way. So uh, Fred Meyer would definitely will miss you. Yeah, he, he made it all happen, not only uh, for his family, but for the area. Mm -hmm, absolutely. Well, you know, Laura, I know we had, uh, I had some time off over the weekend. Mm -hmm. Big times are coming up in the DeBoer family. You know, we're kind of marking these, um, these lasts before a big event comes up in the uh, right. in the summer, early in the summer season, and that is my so son. Excited. My son Jacob's going to be getting married. While his fiance Taylor invited me and the girls along Wednesday night um, as she tried on her wedding gown, wedding gown. and of, of of course. I was smart enough to not take a picture of that. Well, I actually did take pictures, <laughs> but I'm not sharing those here on 8 West because we don't want Jake Lock to see. Uh, but there's Taylor in the middle and uh, Jen and Jacqueline. And uh, I, I love this because she's going to be the newest divorce sister. So I have to ask, did she find... The, the dress? Oh, she found it right away. Right away. As soon as they got engaged, and this was actually, she had her uh, her fitting and actually was able to pick up the dress. So it's just beautiful. Wonderful. Yeah. Wonderful. I know so many times you go and people look and look and look and they have an idea in their mind what they're yeah. looking for. And it can just take a long time yeah. to find it. My sister, too, found it. It was like the third dress she put on. I know. She was like, this is it. Yep. This is the one. I'm done. I'm not trying anything else because I don't be confused. This is the one. <laughs> we were at the bridal store. It was so funny because there were a lot of brides coming in kind of for their first opportunity 
community. Mm -hmm. And that was the speech that the ladies were given. Like, when you know, when you put on that dress that's your dress, you will completely know that that's what it is. And for Taylor, that was it. So anyway, oh, so it was really awesome. And then, of course, on Thursday, Thanksgiving Day, my brother and his kids and my mom and dad came up. And so we had a wonderful Thanksgiving. And here we are, gathered around our new kitchen table, playing cards. Because what, what do you do after you eat all that turkey? You sit some more. Mm -hmm. You sit some more <laughs> and play cards. So. That's one of the things that I love about Thanksgiving, though. For those of us who have the opportunity to spend it with our families, it's kind of just a hopefully a lower key day where yeah. you get to exchange a little bit. And even if Thanksgiving for your family doesn't happen because of work or something on Thanksgiving Day, hopefully at some point this weekend or in the near future you get that opportunity to uh, to have some family time. Oh yeah, you had some time with your family? I did. Um, Thanksgiving uh, we kind of met in Benton Harbor. It was like the, the meet in the middle. Uh -huh. So uh, we went down there and my aunt is a fabulous uh, I should say pastry chef, really. She used to be a professional cake decorator. Oh. And now she's actually a nurse. So she's had a little bit of a change in career field. I guess. Still on the side, check out these cookies she made. Now, of course, <gasps> we walk in. It's about 1230 in the afternoon, and these are on the kitchen table. Like, let's start the day healthy, okay? I have <laughs> never seen a turkey cookie, ever. Well, she has, I mean, she has everything. She's got Christmas trees, and she'll make all these again for uh, for the Christmas season coming up. But wow. on top of that, she writes on them, and she's got special pastry paint. So they say, happy turkey day. Eat meat, don't <laughs> eat meat. Eat potatoes, don't eat potatoes. She just decides whatever she's going to put on them. Wow. And the funny part is that it, the dye is fairly potent. So mm -hmm. if you're eating it, um, my cousin had, like, blue all oh. over the top. <laughs> That's <laughs> the way you know fix that. when you've had enough cookies, when your lips turn blue. Yeah. Uh, exactly. Mm -hmm. So starting the day healthy, and of course there was pie to follow that. I know she made pumpkin pie, pecan pie. My grandma contributed to those too. And then uh, just to round out the holiday weekend, I mean, I went to see a Christmas concert on Saturday night here in Grand Rapids. It was wonderful. So get you in the Christmas spirit. So I took some time to set up the Christmas tree oh, and put on you. some ornaments. How pretty. I, you know, I love putting up the tree with the Christmas music in the background and kind of reminiscing on what the ornaments mean because I'm kind of one of those sentimental mm -hmm. people. <laughs> exactly. Well, you know, I know it's a lot of fun to set up the tree. We haven't done that yet in the DeBoer house. In fact, my daughter Jacqueline just stopped by the station this morning on our way back to school and I said, you know, we're going to have to set it up without you at home. So she's it's... going to come down for an afternoon so you can get that done. I don't know. She's got she's counting down to final exams. Oh, that's right. I know. You remember those days. Oh, I do remember those <laughs> days very well, actually. <laughs> <laughs> well, um, we are so happy at 8 West mm -hmm. to let you have the opportunity to win something super great because we know that a lot of people are running around mm -hmm. buying stuff and you're we're getting into the holiday spirit because we like to, uh, you know, buy things for the people we love. That's right. And so here at 8 West, because we love you, we're actually giving away two $25 gift cards to Big B. That's awesome. You know, I frequented Big B this weekend. <laughs> of course you did. Yes, and so did I. So here's all the information. You can enter at woodtv.com. You must be 18 years or older. It is a random drawing, and the contest is going to end tonight at 11 p.m., mm -hmm. so so let's work on that, and you can win one of two. So if you don't win the first one, maybe you can win the second one, and you do have to um, pick up that gift card here at our studios, 120 College. That's right. We know it's, people are wondering, how do we do the early shift? You know, I'm the Monday through Friday day breaker. You're the weekend mm -hmm. day breaker. Coffee is the key for us, and this is a uh, 64 ounce <laughs> mug of Big B coffee. Isn't this great? And uh, here's the scoop. People ask me, how do you stay so bright and cheery in the morning? Lots of coffee. So we were deciding, my, our director Mike Gambala said, um, we have to figure out a way to maybe mount this on the top of our head and then get some of those straws. Like a straw. And then you could just kind of uh, suck it down and, in the morning. And for those who don't believe Terry and I, each one of us probably drinks about that much coffee every day. Now this is regular coffee. It's oh, not necessarily yeah. specially coffee. Mm -hmm. But. <laughs> so anyway, we also uh, have have a very special mm -hmm. birthday birthday wish to announce for one of our crew members, Cody <laughs> Happy Hart. Happy birthday, Cody Hart. <laughs> yes, exactly. Cody is actually the gal who um, gets to tell us what to do. That's right. She's standing by the Every camera morning. right now. Mm -hmm. Yes, she tells us when to stop talking, when to start talking, and uh, when to wrap it all and up. And right so. now she's got this fantastic smile on her face. Oh, <laughs> no, she's she's going to try to no, hide from the camera. The camera. <laughs> so, Cody, um, we're, we're guessing it was 21 again yesterday. Anyway. Yeah. Cody, and she did get to go home and spend a little time with her family. Is. Happy birthday, Cody. Yeah. It's an excellent We job. love having you part of our team. You yes. help make the mornings great. Mm-hmm. Uh,